hi and welcome to another DCG tutorial. So this question is from the 2013 paper and it is section A, short questions, and it is question A2. So let's read through it. The graphic below shows bowling ball and pins. Uh, the drawing on the right shows elevation and incomplete plan of one of the pins and the bowling ball in contact with each other. Complete the plan of the solids in contact is part A and part B. Draw the plan of the right cylinder which stands up in the stands upright on the horizontal plane. The top of the cylinder touches the pin at point P and also touches the ball. Okay, so this is a solid and contact question. It comes up a few times in the short questions. Uh, haven't seen it as a long question quite yet, but it's a nice topic if it did. So let's look at our elevation here. So we have ball and ball in contact with the pin. Okay, and the pin is an irregular shape to see in solid and contact, but as you see from the red circle here, it's based on a sphere, it's based on a circle or cylinder, okay? So A, complete the plan of the solid and contact. So we have the plan of the pin, now we need the plan of the bowling ball. So first things first, the elevation is completed, so the centre of the bowling ball will be, now let's double check, we have our X, Y and our page set up correctly, we do. The centre will be definitely right below where the centre is in elevation, if that is the true position of it, okay? It has to be on that line. But in order to find where on that line, we must swing the bowling ball around to the edge so that we see them, see the point of contact between the co or between the pin and the bowling ball. So what I mean by that is we need to project this cylinder Rotate it around until it's touching right off the edge. So to do that, the point of contact will be, because this is based on a curve, it's going to be right on the edge here. It will be same center. So what we're going to do is, here is our point of contact between the bowling ball and the pin. So if I get the center, or sorry, the radius of that bowling ball, So to get the radius of that bowling ball, step it off from our point of contact, we will find the center of the bowling ball as it rests out here on the edge. So I'm just going to draw that in. You don't need to. Once you find the center, it's fine. Draw that in lightly. So this is the center now out here. So that's it aligned right on the edge of the pin and touching up the pin as point of contact. So we can see the point of contact between them. They're side by side. So if I bring that center down now to the plan, so this is our new center. Bring that down to the plan. Now again, they're side by side. So if we bring the center of the pin out here to the right, it'll show you where that center is. Okay, but that's where the center is when they're side by side. So if I swing that center point, around the pin, bring it rotated back out to the front to find where the real center is, I can finish off the plan. So you have to rotate it around the center of the pin, the center of the object that you are in contact with, so rotate that down. And where it cuts across where the center was originally in the elevation, that is the center of the bowling ball. The bowling ball is always going to be the same radius. So if we get the same radius from the elevation, we can draw that in. You'll get the bowling ball in plan. And I'm not going to draw that in strong yes just to see what part b is all right okay so because the other if it's going to be sphere it could sit in on top of it all right uh complete the plan of the sound of the gunner. it doesn't ask for the point of contact okay but just in case it did you join the two centers together okay the point of contact would rest where the two meet and they're touching here. they're not overlapping they're touching dead center there so that would be where the center is okay so uh part b draw the plan Okay, so just ask for the plan of a right cylinder which stands upright on the horizontal plane. So if it's upright, 
it is and it's a cylinder the horizontal plane is represented as the xy line in elevation so if it's standing on xy line upright in elevation and it's a cylinder the shape is going to give you in plan is going to be a circle okay it's going to be a true shape circle so it's going to be a circle down here somewhere uh, the top of the cylinder touches the pin at point p and also touches the ball so it is touching the pin at point p so it's in the front here that's point p so it's touching there and it's also touching the ball and buff now what well, would be great is if they gave you the radius of the cylinder and then you could go about drawing it in but because they haven't there's a certain process you need to do so first things first if i join we know it's touching point p so if i join the center of the pin to the point p and extend out I'll put that in a different color, put that in the green. I know that line is going through uh, the center of that new cylinder. Okay, so it's going through the center. So this is basically, you're working backwards. Like if I joined the center of this bowling ball to the center of the pin and where across where they met will give you a point of contact. In this case, working backwards, you join the point of contact to the center, and that will give you a center line, okay? So this is a center line here. Next, touching off point P, so it is resting on that surface here, and off the bowling ball, okay? What that means is, it's not giving a radius, but it will be touching off them, so it'll be equally spaced between that curve and this curve. So we use loci to find the center. And what that means is we do certain measurements off from the edge of the two circles and where where they where they join up will give you another center line and that will be uh, that's your loci method to find the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend out the center line here of the pin and I extend out down here out of the way somewhere the center line of the bowling ball and keep this nice and light now what we're going to do is we're going to do a set of measurements so we'll go out every five mil and we'll do no matter how many of them let's go so one two three four five we'll do Five should be enough, I think. Same thing down here. Extend it out. This line there, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Now what's happening here is the sphere or the cylinder is equidistant between the two surfaces. So by doing these distances and joining them together, we'll get a central line. So we need to rotate those like lengths now around the individual centers so if I rotate that around here I rotate the other five mil here so we rotate each one around and where they meet will give you a point on your center line okay so keep going now and do the rest Now, by joining those points together freehand lightly, I'm going to put in here a green just so it stands out. We now have a second center line. And again, if you have if you have two center lines. Where they cross has to be the center for our new circle, our new cylinder, and is resting on point B, touching off point B, the top of it. So therefore, if that is the center and point P is a point on the curve, that will give you your radius and you can draw in your cylinder. 
So now I can draw that plan in strong of the bowling ball and the new cylinder because they're not overlapping. So I'll draw it. Question done. So that's part A done. That was the plan of the bowling ball. And part B then is also done, that is the new cylinder. So it only asks for the plan, so there's no need to do the elevation. So nice little solid contact question there. Uh, if that helped, leave a like. And if you want to see certain questions done, you just leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.